All right, what's going on everybody? We're gonna do a quick whiteboard session with you, but first do me a favor, click subscribe. And if you enjoyed these videos and wanna learn more from me on a personal note, head over to patreon.com forward slash Lone Duck Outfitters. We have a ton of fun there. Every other week we jump on a Zoom happy hour with our community, drink a cold beer ski, ask, answer questions that you guys have. So if you enjoy this stuff, jump over there, show some support and I support you more one-on-one. -on -one. Let's talk about the KRD drill. So K R D key relationship drill. There's plenty of ways to skin this cat. Here is the way that I do it. And I'll try and walk through a basic dog, one who's just learning this, and then how I'm going to do an advanced dog, like a senior dog who's just learning this, and then take an advanced master dog and challenge them. Um, a key relationship drill is kind of two things. For me, I think of it like it's building a relationship with your dog on when I tell you to go get a mark, you get it. When I tell you to go get a blind, you get it. You're working on poison bird stuff, meaning they see a mark, know them off the mark, run a blind, then pick up your mark. It also is about the key relationship between the mark and the blind and how the dog has to interact with holding blinds, marks, and where that they've got to run the blind. So anyways, there's your definition. Let's talk about the beginning stages of a dog who's running it for the first time. So <clears throat> for a first time, and, and even for a while, I don't want to blow their mind on this. I just want to teach. This is going to be my bumper pile. Okay. So that's your blind. This is going to be your white pole. Okay. So I'm going to use a white pole and I'm going to put a bunch of bumpers at this pile. Maybe six of them, eight of them. This is my line to the blind. This is my line. I'm probably going to put this blind 75 to 100 yards away. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring, put this stuff out, go grab my dog, run this white pole blind, and they go and hammer it. Next, I'm going to send my bird thrower out there on the four-wheeler. This is your four-wheeler. It looks pretty good. It's a good four-wheeler. And it's going to be just to the side of the line to the blind, maybe offline by 15 yards. And they're gonna stand there. This is my bird thrower. Look at this drawing, this is freaking sweet. There's my bird thrower and my four wheeler. It almost looks like a baby carriage. They're gonna stand there. And now all of this dog's life, they look out at a bird thrower or maybe your winger and say, that person's gonna throw me a mark. And they're gonna be staring this sucker down. Even though I just ran this blind, they're gonna stare that person down and you're gonna have a hard time pulling them off of the bird thrower to go run the blind. So we did the first one, added more difficulty. We're gonna run this again. Now, depending on how hard that was for the dog, I may run it again. Boom, now I'm putting two and two together. No, here, back. They come back, they look, they look, I'm having a hard time. I'm not gonna add any more difficulty. No, here, back. Now they come back and they're a little less intense on staring this person down. I may have them boom the gun or shoot a 22 blank. Boom, no, back. Now I'm gonna have them, after they do that well, I'm gonna have them throw a mark this way away from the line to the blind. The first time I do it, they get to go get that mark. Come back, run the blind again. So now they've ran the blind three to four times. They've picked up one mark, but when you go to, so let's say bird thrower throws this mark, dog goes and gets it and you try and line them up, they may take a line back over to here. Stop them, cast them. You know, if they make any mistakes, you can stop and handle them through that blind. It's no big deal. Um, now to finish that drill for that dog for that day, 
I'm going to throw that mark. No bird. Run the blind. Pick up the mark. Done. So that is how I would do a dog on the first go around of the KRD drill. Let me get my handy dandy eraser. Let's talk about an advanced dog. And this is where, oh, and with the young dog, they're learning to run a blind behind the gun of a bird thrower or, or a blind state or a uh, holding blind, right? So that is part of that key relationship of running a blind behind a gun, okay? Now, more advanced dog. I'm gonna put a blind, a holding blind here and probably a holding blind here. I'm talking my master dogs, Memphis, Quinn, Lizzie, Connor, Aries, you know, all those dogs that have done this drill a bunch over their career. I'm gonna have my bird thrower be right here on the four wheeler. And I'm gonna first throw a mark this way. Oh, and our wind direction is blowing here. Okay, so wind direction is blowing here. First mark, it gets thrown. No bird, run your blind. Come back, pick up your bird. This helps build memory too. Patience, steadiness, teamwork. Dog comes back, delivers to hand from, you know, so go get the blind, go get the mark, come back. Your bird thrower now leaves this holding blind. So you still have a holding blind here. They leave, they drive over to here now. The next mark is gonna get thrown this way. No bird, run your blind, then go get your mark. The next throw is towards the line to the blind with the wind blowing towards them. That's a real son of a B. That's a tough one. So they have to see that mark and now they've ran to this blind several times and they know about it. So no bird, they've got to run past the mark to the blind, then come back and pick up your mark, okay? Um, typically, uh, I will use, again, you, to simplify just a hair, we'd use bumpers. So the wind on this one would be a little less enticing for a bumper. You add a duck to that, and that's gonna be super enticing for them to hold their line, hold their line, looking really good, and then go, boom, try and get the duck. You'd have to be ready for this situation. Tweet, no, cast back to the blind. If they do it again, tweet, no, try again. If they do it again, maybe have your bird thrower come pick up the bird so that that dog doesn't get rewarded by slipping whistles and grabbing it. Um, but yeah, this is how I do the key relationship drill. Um, you can you can add you know so much more difficulty. You can have three blinds out there with these kind of marks where they've got a, the concept would be the same. So if you have three blinds, one is going to be behind the gun here, one is going to be maybe over here, and they've got to run past this, but it's on the downwind side, and then one up here where it's on. Or no, excuse me. This one will be upwind side. This would be downwind side, right? So this one wouldn't be so difficult. That's a little bit more difficult. That's extremely difficult. So you'd have three blinds and three marks on that drill. So you can play with this idea, this concept. You saw how a young dog would do it and how I would teach a young dog. You see what an older dog should be capable of. Any mark they see, I should be able to say, no bird, run a blind, pick up the mark. Um, it's a great little drill. I hope that helped. Remember, please click subscribe. If you've got any comments, leave them below. And uh, we appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh -huh.